hail you gorgeous people. I'm sitting out here in front of a house because there's so much long grass and I put up the, the electric fence but there's no electricity in it so I'm sitting here keeping an eye on the animals so they don't run away. <laughs> and uh, and so I'm going to read for you a bit more from this wonderful book. And today we're going to speak about the masculine and feminine energies and uh, it sounds a little bit abstract if you don't uh, haven't thought about it but uh, each and every one of us uh, holds the masculine and the feminine just like in, in yin yang uh, within each woman there's a man and within each man there's a woman in a way uh, and the and the masculine there's masculine traits and feminine traits masculine qualities and feminine qualities and if you're a woman for example and you have very have a very highly developed feminine side and you have suppressed your masculine side you'll be very imbalanced and masculine mas the masculine side of us is the, um, uh, the, the one who is uh, very clear very uh, focused has clear boundaries uh, has an inner strength and stability dares to be who he is dares to stand uh, on his own two feet and um, is very clear and also um, uh, discerning discernment good at judging situations and acting accordingly to this the inner wisdom that they feel that's the masculine side and the, the feminine side is the more flowing much more emotional much more soft and receptive uh, and we need both so we're going to read from Mary Magdalene and it's just just wonderful this I love it <laughs> so return of the wild woman all these of us uh, all three of us are present here today Jeshua Mary and Mary Magdalene we are honored to be here with you we see you as your uh, brothers and sisters we are one at heart and for me, Jeshua, it is especially liberating to be here alongside my female friends because I'm often seen as the one representative of the Christ energy. That is not the whole truth, however. There were women at my side in my life who were essential to my mission. In those times, it was not acceptable for women to do what I did, to be a public teacher. But my mother and Mary Magdalene were both spiritual warriors. They helped me plant the seeds of the Christ consciousness. Today we speak of the male and female energies. My female soulmates and I speak in one voice. In your history, the female energy has become wounded in a profound way. This has had important consequences for both women and men on earth. It is not just women who have suffered from the male dominion. Men also have been wounded. We will first discuss the female wound. We ask you to imagine a female person. She represents the whole of the female feminine energy. Now the female energy has been degraded and treated with violence. The effect this has had, this had on women is that they withdrew from the lower part of the body where their power resides, especially when there was, was, has been sexual violence. The emotional trauma causes women to retract their consciousness from the lower part of their body. It becomes hard for them to be self-aware and grounded. Envisage, envisage a woman in front of your inner eye. She represents the collective energy of women. In this image you can see that there is a kind of hole in the area of her belly. She has withdrawn her consciousness from this area and she feels insecure because she lacks foundation. Inside her belly you can, you can hear screams of anguish and pain. And we would like to invite you all, both men and women, to radiate light out to this woman, to her belly. In this way, you are also giving to yourself. I am Mary Magdalene. I love you deeply. I am also with you. I have risen above the female wound and I now wish to touch this area of pain very gently to help women heal. I would like to see them being born again with joy and firmness so that the power of the female can return in a peaceful way. I do not wish to fight or struggle. I come in peace and I have a special plea to women. You have all been wounded in history, but in this time you are regaining your strength. This is your age, this is your time. 
I wish to remind you that men need help now as well. You as women are familiar with the wound in your belly, the pain and trauma of being degraded, but what happened to men? Because of the dominating male energies in the past and the energies of power and oppression, men were forced to close down their hearts. They had to be strong and harsh. This was the ideal picture of being male. But in that way, men became alienated from their feeling side. Many men got locked up in their heads. It became difficult for them to express their emotions and their feelings. The inability to connect with your feeling side, your feminine side, is also a wound. You do not live life fully if you cannot access your feelings. In fact, you are disconnected from your soul. In many men, there is a sense of loneliness and alienation which can be perceived as a hole in their hearts. So you see, both men and women, men and women have been wounded in the past. Women's wound is located in the belly. Men's wound is like a hole in their heart. I wish to say to women, today that as you regain your power, as you recognize your true strength, reach out to men. They need your help. They have become estranged, alienated from home. Have the kindness in your heart to be compassionate with them. The new earth can only be born if the two of you make peace. If men and women understand each other's wounds, they can build a bridge between them. I ask women to join me in sending light to the, hole, to the hole in your belly. From that light, a cord develops and goes right into the earth. Feel your connection to Mother Earth as a woman. Your feminine energy is so powerful and essential to life. Remember your true strength. As you feel your self-consciousness grow, reach out to men and send light to the hole in their heart. You are on the verge of a new time in history. Your you are meant to join together as men and women. You are invited to have joy and laughter again as human beings. In many of you I see tired warriors. You have struggled and struggled and some of you are very tired and disappointed. The answer to your pain lies in a very simple life. By that I mean feeling truly connected to earth again and enjoying the simple pleasures of being human. To experience the love between man and woman, to have friendship with like-minded people and to live in peace with your surroundings and with nature is the promise of the new earth. In my life on earth I experienced the female wound deeply. I was a dear friend of Jeshua. I could feel his strength and wisdom but also his pains and doubts. There was an intimate understanding between the two of us. I experienced deep grief and sorrow when he had to leave earth, when he was killed. Often when he would speak to us, I could feel his messages not just in my head, but throughout my whole body. I did not like to argue about his ideas, about his messages, like his male disciples did. In that respect, I was a little different from them. They sometimes mocked me, and I felt lonely at times. I was regarded as a wild woman. I was unconventional. Presently, I am really joyful to see that wild women are welcome again in the world. Much has changed since the time of Jeshua. I tell you, wild women will be the leaders of the new world. I invite you all to stand up in your true power. In the past when women were wild, meaning independent, unconventional and passionate, they were often labeled as hysterical. In the Middle Ages they were called witches, but really those women, I was one of them, were moved by love. Now it is time again for women to show their true power, not in any aggressive way, but in a way that reconciles the male and female energies. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? I love this book. I love all this wisdom. And I just feel it so true. So, um, yeah. Uh, balancing the male and the female energies in us. Finding out that it's, they both have these wonderful qualities. Uh, all this balance that comes in us. Uh, heals us and heals our relationships, heals our connections to the earth. So um, yeah, this was a little bit more from this book and um, I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful day.
See you, my friend. <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you.